Hey everybody, my name is Christine and welcome back to the channel. Before you get too far into the video, I do want to welcome you to today's episode of Vlogist. And if you've missed any of my previous episodes, basically one video every day for the whole month of August, I have an entire playlist down below for you to check out. Something that's been on my mind lately, here on YouTube, it's pretty popular to do like meal prepping, fill your freezer situation. And with school starting back up, whether it's at home, online homeschooling, or in person, a lot of moms are trying to get ready for the hustle and bustle of the mornings, the busyness, by getting a head start on breakfast. And one of those things that people tend to pre-make often are these little breakfast sandwiches, like English muffins, bacon or sausage, an egg, and freeze them. And I love the idea of doing this in bulk and doing it in advance to make easy mornings. I'm a big fan of that myself. But I started to wonder, is it really cost effective to make it yourself? Like we spend the time, the energy of getting all of the ingredients, of wrapping everything up, of freezing it, of writing down the instructions, when they do already make convenience foods that have the exact same thing. I was on a mission in today's video to find out if making it yourself is indeed cheaper how cheap can it be or should you just go to the store and buy the prepackaged ones from a financial perspective now in this video i'm not necessarily going to get into the pros and cons of like you know what's in your ingredients because you made it yourself versus it's prepackaged so there's more preservatives a cost benefit analysis that you can determine for your own family and lifestyle i'm going to talk about the actual cost of the ingredients so let's bring it down and talk about what you need. Now you're gonna need a package of English muffins. Most of the ones I've seen come in packages of six, although they do have bigger ones. I have three cost breakdowns for you. Making it yourself with ingredients available at your local grocery store, prepackaged cost, and the Christine cost, because you know I went to my bakery outlet to pick these up. So I got these English muffins for 88 cents for six, which is only 15 cents a serving. For all of the regular ingredients, I went to my personal local Walmart. Your mileage may vary when it comes to prices, but my Walmart has their great value brand of English muffins for $1.18 for six servings, which is 20 cents a serving, just a hair over what I paid for mine. Ingredient number two is gonna be a sausage of some kind. Now, I picked mine up at my discount store for a dollar, which is an amazing price, and this one pound container, once you mush them into the right size, because they shrink up quite a bit, is only six servings, which makes this 17 cents a serving, cheapest brand at Walmart, which is just the Walmart brand, uh, the great value brand is $1.98, making it 33 cents for six servings. Next up, we have eggs. Now, in my area, eggs are some of the cheapest I've seen them in a very long time. If you bought a one dozen container at Walmart, it would be 91 cents, making each egg, which is one serving, eight cents. And I would do that, I would probably buy it at Walmart. There's really no way I'm gonna find it cheaper than that, so let's just stick with that for both the Walmart price and the Christine price. Now, the last ingredient, aside from oil and salt and pepper, is going to be cheese. What kind you use for these sandwiches is just gonna kinda depend on you. The block cheddar cheese will be more expensive. An eight ounce block of cheddar cheese is $2.22, which breaks down to about 10 servings, 22 cents a serving for this one. Or, you can do the cheapy, cheapy American, we call them craft singles, even though this isn't craft. The American sliced cheese is only $1.48 for 16 servings, which comes down to nine cents a serving. And this is the one Christine is going to go with. And let's face it, it does melt a little bit better than this one. Imitation pasteurized processed cheese food. <laughs> If you're the kind of person that eats Pop-Tarts in your life, I don't know that you can complain about this. You make the decision that's best for your family, and so will I, and in this case, it's gonna be this one. Because for the sake of a true comparison, I did decide to go ahead and bulk make the freezer sandwiches myself and compare them to the Jimmy Dean sandwiches I had purchased as far as a taste test goes. What surprised me on the sausage is it's only six servings, which I mentioned earlier. And I noticed that I divided each of my one pound containers into six patties and they shrink like pork sausage has so much fat in it that it shrinks so much that I would, I would agree with that. One pound is indeed six servings. And I wasn't expecting that going in. I thought I could get maybe eight or 10, 
Yep, that is not the case. Used my griddle to cook all of these up. I've usually done it just in a cast iron pan on the stove and the griddle was way better. I could cook so many. I did not toast my English muffins this time. I have done that in the past and I really don't notice a difference. So I don't know that that's important or anything. I did use regular cheese on my sandwiches because it's what I already had in the house. Although if I were to do it again, I would use the Kraft Singles cheese just because it melts really, really nicely. And then I did one fried egg per sandwich and I ended up with quite a few sandwiches. We ate some fresh and then wrapped some up for the freezer and the reheating process did not go very smoothly. You do need to wrap them in paper towels and microwave them like defrost and then turn them over and do a little bit more. Fresh does taste better. What the heck does all of this mean when it comes to the breakdown of the individual sandwich? I have a couple of prices for you. If you went to Walmart and purchased all of the ingredients, from Walmart using the real cheddar cheese, each sandwich would cost 83 cents a sandwich. Now, if you went to Walmart and did the exact same thing, except you used the singles cheese instead of the real cheddar, it would be 70 cents a sandwich, which is not too bad. If you shop the Christine way and you go to a bakery outlet and you find the meat clearance at your discount store and pick a bunch of those up, you're gonna drop it down to 49 cents a sandwich. So finding the items on clearance or on sale or at an outlet, will serve you greatly when it comes to the cost of the sandwich. Now, however, let's talk about the prepackaged sandwiches. How much are those? At Walmart, the prepackaged four count, great value brand, $3.28, which comes down to 82 cents a sandwich. I just wanna compare that to the 83 cents a sandwich of making it yourself from Walmart with the nice cheese. 82 cents, 83 cents, they're the same and you save time because you don't actually have to do anything yourself. You just buy the box and put it in your freezer. Now also at Walmart, if you are going to buy the Jimmy Dean brand of eight sandwiches, $9.68, it breaks down to $1.21 per sandwich. Now, yeah, that is gonna be cheaper than a McDonald's drive-thru, but significantly more expensive than making it yourself in any way. Lastly, just out of curiosity, if you went to your local Sam's Club and picked up the Jimmy Dean brand 12 count sandwiches at $11, I think it's 50 something cents, I can't read my handwriting anymore, <laughs> you're looking at 96 cents a sandwich. Your best price on the prepackaged is gonna be the Walmart brand from Walmart. If you want the Jimmy Dean brand, go to a big box store like Winco or Sam's Club or Costco, get a better price. 10 or 20 cents a sandwich is that big of a deal for you. By all means, go ahead and make it yourself. But a lot of the times, time is money and we're busy. You know what? I'm not gonna judge you if you buy the prepackaged ones and save yourself some time. The goal of this video is just to bring to light the assumptions that we make sometimes on doing things yourself when the store bought really is gonna be okay, especially from a financial perspective. So if you're all about the saving money and all about the saving time, this is one to not make yourself at home. This is one of the few times I'm gonna recommend just buy the prepackaged ones. It's cheaper, it's faster, they taste delicious. I hope you guys like today's episode of Vlogist and the financial breakdown of meal prepping your own breakfast at home, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Stop that! Oh my gosh. Step back so I can I fix see. the lighting. Why are you, your head's cut off, stop that. I look at all the features of your face. It makes me very uncomfortable. Okay, I look huge compared to you. Well, you always tell me I take up all the camera space. What if I told you that making the sandwiches, the breakfast, like English muffin sandwiches with the sausage and egg and cheese sandwiches and taking the time to make them yourself and wrap them and label them and stick them in the freezer costs 83 cents a sandwich. Okay? Okay. Okay. And the prepackaged great value sandwiches at Walmart that are the same thing are 82 cents a sandwich. Man, uh, okay, <laughs> they're, listen, they're, they're okay. the same price. They're the same price. So they don't taste the same. Okay, what if I told you the Jimmy Dean brand from Sam's Club is 96 cents a sandwich? So you're 13 cents more per sandwich and you save the time and hassle of doing it yourself. I still like the fresher ingredients. Like I feel like the, the ingredients from all those frozen things are just a lot of, I like the taste better of making it myself. So you think the time that goes into it is worth the better taste? For me it is. I wouldn't bulk pre-prep breakfast, but I would make it myself. Oh, you would just make it in the morning. Yeah. Okay, but the whole point of making them is to save time in the morning. That's what the premise of the video is. People, I'm saying moms pre-bulk do these so breakfasts are easy on school mornings. Haley, Andrew, and I will, auto, will very frequently have sandwiches, breakfast sandwiches of some sort, but we will make 
them out of English muffins and bagels ourselves with some fried eggs, scrambled eggs, whatever it might be, and sometimes there's me. Hey guys, editing Christine here. Uh, I I rewatched that clip just back, and I think what Dave was saying was kind of lost in translation a little bit. Him and Haley and Andrew, he and Haley and Andrew, hmm, he and Haley and Andrew make their sandwiches fresh every day. He's saying he would rather spend the five minutes to make a fresh sandwich every day instead of pre-making them is is what he's saying and there's some value in teaching your kids how to put these things together themselves so they don't depend on you all the time is is kind of what dave was trying to get across there if you don't mind the ingredients that come with frozen food like that okay i'm spoiled i know it hey as long as you admit it own it single dad or single mom okay and i knew that the price was that close mm -hmm. And I needed something to save my sanity. Yeah. I would okay. Do. You'd be like, absolutely not worth my time. Convenience wins. Does it surprise you that the price is that close? Not too much. Really? Yeah. Okay. Those are expensive ingredients. Of course. Yeah, for sure. Now, is that price close with your shopping? No, mine's fifty cents a sandwich, versus. That's what I thought. At the cheapest, eighty-two <laughs> cents a sandwich. Do I know my stuff or what? Yeah. That's the end of the upper chat. <laughs>